Hello, Happy New Year 2019. I wanted to give you an update of the things I've been working on uh, since my last video. So this is my 3D printer controller board you've seen in previous videos. Uh, this is only the power board uh, that contains the power elements, motor drivers, five of them, and power MOSFETs for the bed. Uh, because this bed dissip this uh, board dissipates quite a bit of power, uh, there's a lot of heat sinks going uh, everywhere. Uh, but uh, the actual brain of this board is this little uh, module, the white guy, which is called Nuclear 60 Nuclear 64. Uh, it is a dev kit by ST Micro for the 32-bit uh, series of microprocessors. Uh, actually, it contains two parts. So this part is the actual microprocessor, and this like kind of separate board is a debug interface. So programming is easier on this uh, boards. And I've been using uh, uh, this module, like it connects uh, like in this fashion here to this power board. Uh, I've been using this particular module for quite some time, but I was running into various limitations, uh, mainly because it only uses a 64-pin uh, microcontroller, and there just isn't enough pins to control all the functions that I want. For example, the uh, USB connector is only for serial communication. You can't use it for anything else. There's no micro SD card slot. There is no any sort of memory to store settings and things like that. And the power adapter on this board is quite uh, weak. So we had to add an external uh, power adapter on the power board, which was quite inconvenient. Um, so anyhow, I finally uh, go to designing a replacement for this board. This is this here beast. It's in the same shape and size as this module um, and is meant to connect in the same fashion to the power board just like that. And this guy actually has its own power supply which can uh, be powered for up to 24 volts. Um, it has a CPU with much more pins so in addition to all the connectors on the board we have a bunch of possible extensions here. Uh, it also has its own micro SD card slot, a USB connector which can be used for other things not just uh, serial communication uh, and uh, should be oh last but not least it has its own uh, onboard storage to store settings for the 3d printer and things like that. So yeah, I was you know working over the weekend on this guy. I also got Marlon to work on it as well as the Smoothieware firmware. They both work on both this module and this module with minimal changes. So that's it.